I always stir the pot. I mix things up. I change them. I also like to shock people, so I'm a very good pot stirrer. I'm Janine Sarlin. I'm an entrepreneur, and I'm a chef, and I've been a writer. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, yeah. My company is called Cooking with Class. The recipe in stirring the pot is a classic recipe from my family. There's mom, there's dad, he's 90 years old there. This is when they moved from the farm. My mother was a wonderful cook. She learned from her mother. So this recipe is called uh, Mom's Plum Tart. Sometimes I call it Cooking with Class Plum Tart. Sometimes it's called My Favorite Plum Tart. And my children say it's the best plum tart recipe ever. It's so easy to make. The crust is like a cookie crust. This is my grandmother's nutmeg grater, and you can see it's been used a lot. I count it to 13 as I'm grating, and that's always just about enough. It gives you sort of a haunting, a little haunting flavor that people say, hmm, tastes different. It makes a little noise, no big deal. We like noises in the kitchen. If you're a quiet chef, if you're sneaky, the food will not taste good if you're sneaky. And also, if you're in a bad mood, don't do anything in the kitchen. Order pizza. If you take this finger, the forefinger, and press your tart crust into the edge of the pan, and this thumb is going to solidify it, sort of get the top, this recipe works so well because, because the plums are tart, the crust is super sweet, and the custard is just creamy. There's no sugar in the custard. So it's those three things put together make an amazing, amazing dessert. Let me tell you my favorite time to eat it is for breakfast. My mother is English, and my grandmother was English, but she was also Native American and also had some German background. I'm actually Heinz variety. And dad is, was also the family, Schrock family, came from Germany first and then went to England, so he's English too. <laughs> Food from an American farm. This is about my life, my mother's life, and my grandmother's life. Here I am, I'm 13 years old, and there's my mom and my dad and my brother and my I think that's just Judy was born. No, there's Joni, she's over there. Everyone had a story, like my great-grandmother oatmeal cookie and Grandma Schrock's Boston cookies. There's a family tree. There's not one person alive that doesn't have roots from someplace else. And then the custard is just cream and egg and a little vanilla. The farm that I grew up on was from my great-grandfather. So it was like 150 years old when dad and mom sold it. No one in my family wanted to have the farm. They wanted me to have it. What am I doing with a farm in Minnesota? <laughs> and this um, tart recipe has been in other people's cookbooks too. It's just a compliment to me. I wouldn't share anything that I wouldn't want you to have. But I love the Doms because this is what we do. Our basic purpose is to not only help young women and give scholarships, but also to inspire them.